Hello, hello, hello. It's Jody Mark Grubman coming to you from Chicago. As usual, we got some fun stuff. I slept together a few of my favorite things. What do we have? A soft sit, a Karen, and some quality time with Judge Webster. Also known as the contempt portion, if you're if you're uh if you're reviewing looking at the thumbnail. All right. All right, all right, all right. I was kind of trying to wait for, for Biggin to finish up, but I think he is. So he's a lumberjack and he's okay. He sleeps all night and he works all day. He will be living there with his fiance. Um, as whoa, for- whoa, whoa, stop. Stay in your booth. Force out, pick your head up. Force out, booth one. Come back inside unless you're getting meds. Five North, get back in here. Get back in the booth. Get back in the booth. Get back in the booth. All right, go ahead, Miss Ron. Sorry, everybody. Your Honor, may I? No, you may not. I killed a mate. Um, All right. I'm sorry. I don't have it handy with me. This was sent to me in Discord. Thank you very much. You know who sent it to me. Um, But we've got we've got your basic sovereign citizen. But it's it's special this time because we've got awesome New Zealand accents to go with it. It's a Kiwi special. Let's do it. I'm a Kaitiaki diplomat, and this is a jurisdictional matter. I'll go away and I'll start gaming because I don't want any dramas. We've just got to relax and get on with each other. Uh, you know, that, that's all cool. Do you acknowledge common law as a jurisdiction in New Zealand? I don't know. Thank you, Cameron. Oh, you don't acknowledge that? Uh, well, I have a public servant questionnaire here for you to fill out. I don't answer questions until you fill out my public servant questionnaire, which you're legally ob- obligated to fill out, my friend. Um, well, could I get your supervisor down here then? I'd like you to fill that out before I, I answer I any more questions. It's a public servant questionnaire which you're legally obligated to fill out. I'm not, and I'll just tell you again, mate. You need to give me your name, address, date of birth, and provide your driver's license, otherwise it's a challenge you'll be arrested. Uh, I have here with me an unrebutted affidavit with proof. Okay. I have with me an unrebutted affidavit here with proof. I'd like you to read well, this. This uh, has a personal fee schedule attached to it that invokes personal and commercial liability. I think you need to read it. I'm not going to read it, but I've told you again, and I won't tell you again, mate. Watch your driver's license, your name, address, go to birth, please. Oh, well, I can't do that. You can't do that. I don't obtain a license, but I'm under common law jurisdiction, mate, and it actually states here under the legislation that you acknowledge. Yeah. Oh, I, I absolutely love the accent. The, both Australia and Australia and New Zealand, they they definitely don't sound the same. I, I, I hear a difference. But those are both fun accents for me because they sound really strange, but I completely understand. I, 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 I have no problem picking up what's being said. It's just said differently, and it's fun. Common law. I have an official information act request from the police, uh, and I don't wish to conduct... Um, business with your corporation i'm new zealand police we're all new zealand police so that's a different place no 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 it's that's not no it's not my there. friend yeah Here, here's a uh, official information act request that that says that the police police do uh, acknowledge yeah. common law as a jurisdiction and i'm under common law which is no victim no crime so if you can produce me a victim then we have a crime New Zealand is a common law jurisdiction and especially here that i have this legislation Oh, this is the best part. This is my private property. Cody, stop being a dick. I'm under common law. I am under common law. Can someone do that? Stop being a dick, (laughs) Ed. It's so good. I I do have a license, but that's not my license. The The state owns it. The state owns my license. Here's my form of ID. I'm a Kaitiaki diplomat. It has my name on it. It has my date of birth. I'm a Kaitiaki diplomat. This has, this has by the UN. This has been stamped by treaty commissions under the UN. I don't. No, I'm not. I have all the adequate paperwork here to state. Yes, I know you have, and I'm no longer a person under the corporation that you guys are under. New Zealand law two. The Land Transport Act to present your license. If you do not have a license, I'm under or you common refuse law. to give your details and your 
name. Well, that can has you, my. Can you that and you has my that. name. I'm not taking that. That has my name and my I'm details. If you take this Listen and go look me, my name up, my I license, my full license will it. pop up. Show me your license. Then. I don't have my full license on me. Well, why don't you just say because so? Because I sent it to the Governor General. What is your name? Cody. Of the family. Now, why can't you just say that? Where do you live? I live at. And well, I'm not being a dickhead because I'm not under your guys' jurisdiction anymore. I have an unrebutted affidavit here, and that stands as truth and fact in law. A judge will and adhere to this. To I'm not off my face. I'm 100% sober. I have my daughter back in my care, and I'm subjected to six-month follicles. Are you going to stop talking? So don't don't tell me about being talking? off my face. Under the Land Transport Act, you are obligated to give your name and details. That's all you needed to do. You're all that all right there. And I told you I don't recognise that as an ID. You can take that and punch so it into you your system and my other ID pops it. up. All you needed to do was give me your name. Yeah, well, I'm not under your guys' jurisdiction anymore. I'm not a, I'm not a corporate entity. I'm a living man. Yeah, well, that is my ID. If you look that up, it will bring my licence up under duress, under protest and duress. Please give us your driver's license. I don't have the car. Will you shut up? Ah, now we see the violence inherent in the system. I'll now take up Kincaid. We're on the... Don't tell me about being off my face. Okay. Record in 2022, CR440, State of Kansas versus Marty Joe Kincaid Jr. Please announce appearances. Your Honor, Brett Sweeney on behalf of the state. Joshua Andrews on behalf of Mr. Kincaid. How does Mr. Kincaid wish to proceed today? Mr. Your Honor, uh, Mr. Kincaid has advised he would like to terminate my services. What's the problem, Mr. Kincaid? You've had two attorneys now. The patented Judge Webster stare. <laughs> Sometimes she's just like, that's so awful. I'm just going to sit here and look at you for a second. Well, what is just getting a hold of him in general? He, I called him last week trying to set all this up for Zoom, and then, I don't know, now when I get on Zoom, it's just a big problem, and everybody's trying to hold me in contempt. Thank you. I, I can do bad all by myself, so. It's not his fault that you're in contempt. He had nothing to do with that. I get it. I can do bad all by myself, dude. I see that. <laughs> well, I'm not going to keep appointing attorneys every time you get crossways with one or have conflict. You've had Mr. Patterson. You've had Mr. Andrews. The first one wasn't my fault, man. Well, wasn't, it your, wasn't it your fault in that he had represented someone involved with you before? He had a conflict because of some prior case? It's No, he was... I think representing my uh, the victim on my case or something. Well, see, if, if you have a victim, that means it's your fault if, if you have a victim. So is it proven guilty for that? Well, you called it the victim. I didn't. What's the state's response? He's wanting another continuance and another attorney. And I don't know if he's going to get along any better with another one because he hadn't gotten along with Mr. Patterson. He hadn't gotten along with me. He hasn't gotten along with the person that's complaining as his alleged victim. I don't know if he'll get along with the third one or not. But Mr. Mm -hmm. Sweeney, the state's position. Your Honor, the state's position is that we generally don't take a position on council appointments. I will tell the court this, that... Uh, Thanks. Mr. Kincaid has quite uh, a, a criminal history in this county, certainly, and so there's probably, uh, you know, I don't know how many attorneys have conflicts with him or not, so um, I'll just let the court know that, wow. that I'm not sure where we go from here if uh, Mr. Andrews isn't going to work out. Well, Mr. Kincaid, it's getting harder and harder to get attorneys to take appointments. And when we have some that are gracious enough to do it, I don't want to alienate them from service. So you have, you've had a lot of attorneys in Butler County. Are there any you have gotten along with? Uh, Fabre. Well, cool. 
Is Mr. Favre taking misdemeanor Savannah or do you know? I honestly am not sure. I don't know if he is or not, Mr. Kincaid. We can see, but um, we're not going to keep changing attorneys every time you get crossways with one. I get it. If, uh, if Bob Ray doesn't work out, then I'll appoint myself. <laughs> what do you mean you'll appoint yourself? You'll represent yourself? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> represent. All right. We're going to set this over to, what's that date? May 15th? May 15th, 9 a.m., you are ordered to be in person at the courthouse. May 15th? May 15th, in person at the courthouse. And you'll need to call Savannah, the clerk of the district court, this afternoon to see if Mr. Favre is going to take your case or not. If he does, you need to get a hold of him. Okay. And I'm going to fine you $100 for your contempt of court today. This is good. And okay. that's, well, I, well, I need to pay that on May 15th. Yep. You'll need to pay that today by 5 o'clock at the clerk of the district court. I can pay that on Thursday. Well, I want to pay today. I can't pay it today. I get paid on Thursday. You're telling me a lot of how it's going to be today, and that's not the way court works. I think you've been to court enough. You know that. Well, I've never gotten a contempt. To be honest with you. That's not a Are real Are you thing. working right now? Most. Could ask. Say that again. Are you working right now? Yes. What kind of work? Upper living and everything. What kind of work are you doing? I work for King's Moving and Storage. It's a moving company. Look at the attitude on this guy. In Wichita. Don't worry. It gets How many days a week do you work? Five days a week. Monday through Friday. All right. Instead of paying $100 today, I'm going to order that you report to the Butler County Jail Friday. At 7 p.m. and serve until Sunday at 7 p.m. as your contempt. There you go. So you're going to spend this weekend in jail as contempt of court. And if you don't report, your problems are going to get a lot worse. Do you have any questions about that, Mr. Kincaid? No, ma'am. All right. Anything further, Mr. Sweeney? No, Your Honor. Let's get a little staycation. All right, Mr. Andrews, thank you for your service. And Mr. Andrews is excused at this time. She's had enough of this guy. Mr. Kincaid, thank you, Your Honor. Mr. Andrews, both for that matter. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, Your Honor. Oh. 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 Okay. I don't know what Are was we going ready on to take up the gentleman at the jail? Yes, Your Honor. And that's Mr. Earhart, is that right? Earhart? <laughs> I mean, I yes, was gonna say it, but how do you pronounce sure your last name? <laughs> it's Earhart. Earhart, that's what I thought though. All right. On the record in 2021, CR 71. State of Kansas versus Richard McGee R. Earhart. Please announce appearances. Darren McGee on behalf of the state. Your Honor, Darren Patterson appear on behalf of Mr. Earhart. Mr. Earhart does appear from the Butler County Jail. Judge would announce at this time, and, I'm, and Judge, I haven't had a breakout room with Mr. Earhart, but I don't believe he's going to have a problem with this in that uh, this is an assault case with a 30-day sentence that uh, he is on probation, but he would be waiving hearing, stipulating to violation. He's done in excess of 30 days now. He's been in jail since December. States oh, yeah. agreed that upon the court accepting his waiver, finding him violation, that the he could get credit for time served on the 30 days and close the case, send everything to collections. 
All right. Is that your recommendation, Mr. Sweeney, if he does waive? Forgive me, Your Honor. I am the um, I'm sorry, Mr. Regeer. Um, the state's recommendation is the revocation of probation. Uh, the defendant I'm served for 30 days here. with credit for time served. Um, case to close, and I believe uh, this case has already been sent to collections, though perhaps the court clerk can confirm that. Okay. So Van Ark has cost some collections? It does appear so. Thank you. Okay, Mr. Earhart, I understand you haven't had a chance to talk about a specific plan with Mr. Patterson. Do you want to talk to Mr. Patterson privately? No, oh, Your Honor, that, that sounds great. Thank you. All right. So I'm not able to get my computer to open up unless it surprises me, and it isn't. So are you at this time admitting that you did violate your probation? Yes, Your Honor. So you're going to need to tell me what you did that put you in violation of your probation. I just wasn't able to uh, keep up with the demand of going places. I didn't have a, a vehicle for a while, and uh, my girlfriend that was driving me around there at the end before I got in here, um, she's about to have a baby um, here any day now. Um, I've lived too far out in the country, so we're trying to figure out uh, a plan for me to move to an apartment so I can be in town so I don't have to walk to town again. Okay. Uh, hey, so Judge, still, Judge, I could probably get to the heart of it real quick here. I was going to say, he still hasn't told me what he was <laughs> he, he would um, be stipulating that he failed to report, that he failed to complete the batter's intervention program, and that he failed to show that he was complying with mental health and medication management. And the case was plugged down to an assault. Patterson yes. is smooth. He, he, he knows the right So spot. is the pregnant girlfriend the one that was the victim, Mr. Earhart? No, no, Your Honor. Okay. Well, without yeah. taking classes and We're all wondering. getting your therapy, you may uh, I'm, find I'm that history no. repeats itself if you don't well, address the problem. So. Well, I, I actually had my dad pay for another... Uh, evaluation. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. And um, they reevaluated me and said that I was not in need of any medical counseling. Um, the reason why I had done the counseling in the first place. No, you don't say. You found you found somebody who would uh, write a report saying what you want for money. Never heard. Never heard of such a thing. This is the woman that I was with, uh, <laughs> the mother of my two daughters. Um, I was convinced that I needed help to deal with her problems and kind of just allowed her to be a part of that and it just got into all kinds of craziness and I'm not saying that I'm not crazy or anything but I you know I I do try to have a level head and trust God so oh good lord all right so you have two children with a lady that was a victim of your violence that pled to an assault, and now you're with a, another lady, and you've gotten a new evaluation. The first evaluation said you needed treatment, domestic violence treatment, and mental If I didn't know better, I, I would say that Judge Webster sounds skeptical. Health treatment, then you went out and got another evaluation says you don't need any of that? Yeah, I, I got another evaluation. I've been in... Uh, make it make I've, sense. I've had girl. counseling make my whole sense. life. Uh, cause my mom, uh, beat me half to death when I was a kid. And so, uh, you know, I went through a lot of stuff. Um, she actually, my, uh, mother's, I know. I know. my children's mom, she goes to the methadone clinic. And, uh, I mean, I, I don't like putting that kind of business out there or whatever, but she, she well, just needs help. You did. All right. Well, it sounds like you've, you've maxed the amount of time you can get for your plea agreement, so uh, I'm going to accept your stipulation to violation and waiver of hearing. It doesn't sound like anybody's making you waive your hearing or admit these facts, are they? No, Your Honor. 
Okay, you sound pretty freely and voluntarily doing so. So I will find that you have violated your probation for the reasons stated. The country song with the grind and generator. revoke it, but you've matched your sentence, so I'm going to have to order that you be released. And the money you owed have already gone to private collections, and that will remain the order as well. So you're going to probably be getting some calls from a debt collector trying to get that money paid. Yes, ma'am. And I'd suggest you do keep your cool because if you come back, we're going to. Oh, Jared Rieger has been feeling it ever since he saw that, uh, that, that, that contempt dished out that he didn't even ask for. Oh, trust me. I, I've never seen him so happy. Have a different conversation. <laughs> I don't want to come back. <laughs> All right. You remember that when you start getting irritated with your new girlfriend and hey. All right. Anything further, counsel? Okay. Uh, I do not believe so, Your Honor. Um, I'm assuming that for purposes of the journal entry, um, the sentence will be 30 days with credit for time served. Yes. That is the order. All right, you may go, Mr. Uh, Durant. That Mr. Have a good day. Mr. Earhart, I'm sorry. Thank you, you too. Anyone else there in the jail? Three others in jail, Your Honor. Any other warrants to show cause? Not that I am aware of. Deputy Caulfield, did you say you do or do not have others at the Sally Port? I have two others at the Sally Port. All right. We'll weave them in here. Okay. Who's the gentleman at the detention facility? Mr. Bond, Your Honor. One more time, Mr. On. <laughs> on the record in 2023, TR172, State of Kansas versus David Allen Vaughn. Please announce appearances. Darren Ricky, on behalf of the state. Your Honor, Darren Patterson, appear on behalf of David Vaughn. Mr. Vaughn does appear from the Butler County Jail. Judge, there is one count in the information in this case. It is driving while suspended as a second-time offender, Class A non-person misdemeanor. To that charge, Mr. Vaughn will enter plea of guilty. Is that right, Mr. Vaughn? You're going to admit that you did drive without while your license was suspended and that you had a prior conviction for that at the time? Yes, Your Honor. Is anyone making you enter this plea today by any kind of threat or promise other than your plea agreement if there is one? No, Your Honor. Do you understand you're giving up your right to a trial as well as... You want to hang in for Donald McCullough. Trust me on this. Is your right to appeal conviction with this plea? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Patterson, you said guilty, not... Is that yes, right? Sir. Guilty, Your Honor, yes. Okay, and Mr. Vaughn, tell me when and where you were driving without your license? I was uh, driving to Augusta to pick up a couple friends, bring them back to Wichita. Okay, and, and where did you get stopped? Uh, just right pulling out of Augusta, right there on uh, Hello, I guess you would say, the Highway 54. Okay, and do you remember when approximately that would have been? The time. The day? Uh, it was uh, January 10th. I don't know. Of 2022, is that right, Mr. Regeer? Is that what you charged him with? 2023, Your Honor. Oh, got an extra reaction. Your Honor, the affidavit does that. state that date and time at approximately 1049 hours, so 1011 in the morning. On January 20? I am coming around. On January 10th of 2023. All right, thank you. And your license was suspended at that time, Mr. Vaughn? Yes, ma'am. And at that time, you already had a prior conviction for driving while suspended? Yes, ma'am. I just uh, hadn't went down and got it uh, reinstated yet. Okay. I find I accept your plea and find you guilty. Recommendations for sentencing, Mr. Regeer? Uh, your Honor, pursuant to plea negotiations, um, $100 fine, um, standard court costs, which I believe would be 108 uh, I'll, of course, defer to the court on the issue of attorney fees, uh, five days imprisonment, uh, 120 days underlying, uh, 12 months non-reporting, and with the defendant to um, receive credit for time served. 
Mr. Patterson, anything further for sentencing? Judge, we would ask the court to adopt the recommendations. I can tell the court that he has been in custody since January 10, so he's served a substantial amount of time on this case. On this case is the only thing he's been in jail for? Yes, Your Honor. All right, Mr. Bond, at this time... I am going to sentence you to a controlling term of 120 days in the Butler County Jail. You must, by law, actually serve five days of that, and I will give you credit for time served. Your fine is $100, your 108. Do you have any money to pay your attorney fees at this time? Not at the moment, but I, I do work at Spirit Aero Systems in Wichita. I will be able to get my job back when I get out of here and get back to Wichita. How do you know you'll get it back if you've been here since January? I've been out there for five years. I'm, I'm in the union, so I'll be able to get my job back. And how is it that you got the court-appointed attorney in the first place? I didn't have I didn't have my job at the time. Okay. All right, you will have to pay $250 towards your attorney fees. So you're going to owe a total of $458, and you have that paid by May 15th. Excuse me. Can you have that paid in full by May 15th? I'll do my best. I'm sorry? I will do my best. I have completely paid, yes. All right. Uh, let's see. That is two months. You think you'll be able to get your job back and get that paid in two months, so realistically? I can give you another month if you need me to. If you give me another month, I would appreciate that because I do have three kids. Okay. But Savannah, what's the date in June? Of course. I can't believe we're going into June, but give me a date about that, about the middle of June, please. Um, June 12th. How about June 12th? And we're a special, special okay. idea coming up. I'm going to call that a pay or appear date, sir. You have to have that paid in full by June 12th Wait. at 9 a.m. Sorry, Judge, I'm sorry. On June 12th, that is um, your pretrial conferences. Oh, okay. Give me another so, date. Then. And then June Probably 19th, we're actually up. off for the holiday. The court's closed. So we can either do June 5th or June 26th. Let's do June 25th. 26th. Okay. Oh, 26th? Yep. Okay. All right. June 26th, you have to have that paid in full or be back here in court. You're on probation for a year. This will be unsupervised, but that means you have to get this paid in full by June 26th at 9 a.m. or be back here in court to discuss probation violations. The other probation condition is that you have no violations of the law between now and a year from now. Any questions, sir? Oh, Your Honor. Thank right. you very much. You're welcome, and we'll be in recess. While they're getting the next uh, inmate, why don't you get the next Sally Port defendant, Mr. Oh, this is good. Deputy? Okay, hey, Judge. Okay. I, just, I just sent you a message if you want to take a quick look at it. Is that a chat message? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Let's pick up Erickson. Donald McCullough says the guys in jail can wait. I need to get back to work. Wow. Well, let me give him a minute. Mr. McCullough, where are you? <laughs> oh, let's do call him. Right here. You want to come to the screen? Mr. McCullough, why did you go to work today? You're supposed to be in court. Uh, because I have bills to pay, man. We're going on the record now in 2020-TR-2085, State of Kansas versus Donald J. McCullough, Jr. Please announce appearances. Here on behalf of the state. 
Your Honor, Darren Patterson appear on behalf of Donald McCullough. Mr. McCullough does appear via Zoom audio visual. And Judge, this is a case where I have not had the opportunity to talk with Mr. McCullough yet. Um, we do not have a good phone number for him. Well, Mr. McCullough is partially visible. I can see him from about the nose up. You want to adjust your camera, sir? Thank you. Pull it down a little further so I can see all of your face. All right. So, uh, again, you were ordered to be in court today. Mr. Regeer, announce his charges. Your Honor, uh, pursuant to the information filed in this matter, there are uh, three pending charges. Count one, uh, second drive while license is suspended or canceled, a class A non-person misdemeanor. Count two, no proof of insurance, a class B non-person misdemeanor. And count three, expired tag of registration, an unclassified non-person misdemeanor. And his first appearance was when? Uh, Your Honor, I'm showing that his first appearance was before Judge Sanders uh, back in December of 2021. Uh, it looks like he appeared in custody and the court said, had excuse said, me, Excuse me, you said 2021? That's what my notes indicate, Your Honor. Okay. And it looks, it looks like he had appeared before Judge Sanders at the time, uh, court ordered bond 1500 OR. And he hasn't been back since? Looks like there's been a number of misdemeanor control hearings. I'm showing one on um, uh, February 14th of 2022, where the defendant appeared before your honor. Uh, looks like there may have been a failure to appear in March of 2022. Uh, we had a motion for judgment on bond in July of 2022, where the defendant also failed to appear. Uh, we Looks like we all had another misdemeanor control hearing. Um, the defendant appeared pro se in, back in December of 2022. I believe um, County Attorney Darren DeVinney was on that hearing and the matter was set today for control. All right, and now Mr. McCullough, you uh, send me and everyone here a message. The guys in jail can wait. I need to get back to work. Wow. What does wow mean in this case? Uh, I don't know. Yes, I, I, one in failure to appear is, is be, for, well, the first one is because y'all keep sending the email to my ex's phone, and I tried to straighten that out. She tried to straighten that out last time, <clears throat> and then the second failure to appear is the ladies in the office told, both of them told me that I did not have court that day. They showed Darren Patterson was there, my attorney, but they didn't show nothing for me. And I got, I had to bond out. And I asked you the last time in December about the $150 bond when... Have you ever had a failure to appear? Possibly. It wasn't my doing that I missed court. So I just, this is, this got me irritated, man. So when you say, wow, what are you, what are you saying? Uh, uh, I don't know. It's, it's like, <laughs> it's just like, uh, you're backing that truck up now, aren't you? All right. Let me ask Somebody you another doing question. Job. Somebody's not doing their job. I don't know. Well, am I not doing mine? Well, you are, ma'am. But are you the one that told me that, that I didn't have court that day? I mean. Look, let's, sir, we, everybody's case is important. Yep, yeah, I understand that. And yours, you've missed court several times, and now oh, you're it. upset because we're not progressing fast enough, and I'm not putting you ahead of other people. Well, now I've put you head ahead of other people only to find out that you haven't talked to your attorney since December, if even before then. Well, so I'm as frustrated as you are, Mr. McCullough, that the taxpayers are paying to have an attorney appointed to you and you aren't even contacting your attorney and you've missed court several times. So 
I think, sir, you need to start taking a little bit more responsibility instead of blaming everyone else for your predicaments. Okay. Give that some serious thoughts. So, uh, you've got some serious charges here. This driving while suspended after prior conviction as a mandatory must serve five days. That no insurance, uh, operating a vehicle without insurance, uh, that has a mandatory $300 minimum fine. There's the tag violation. And this case is so old that we need to get this resolved once and for all. I'm going to order that you reappear in person at the courthouse. No Zoom. You come into the courthouse. Uh, what Great was job. that date in May? Savannah? May 15th. May 15th at 8 o'clock, you be in the courthouse. And Mr. Patterson, uh, can we order a date for him to contact you? That, that would be fine if we can also have him just call the office after this hearing and provide us his contact information. That will help. And I'm pulling up my calendar now, Judge. Okay. So is there not a grand total on the fines that I can uh, start working on to get paid off or what? You can always start saving money in anticipation of fines, but there aren't any convictions yet to assess fines on. Thank you. I mean, gotcha. in theory, you could be found guilty of, of all, you could be found not guilty of all, or you could be found guilty of a combination of. I don't know what the outcome is going to be, but you and Mr. Patterson need to be discussing those options. Mr. McCulloch, can you call my office this Wednesday at 8 a.m.? could throw a tase in there, too. Yes, sir. Okay, make sure you call in at 8 a.m., please. Yep. 316-322-7700. Three one six. Three two two seven seven zero zero. Yes, that's Darren Patterson, your attorney. And Thank Mr. You. Patterson, do you still want him to call you immediately after this hearing to give you the contact information as well? If he could call in, my assistant will take down his information, please. All right. So I'm giving you three orders. As soon as this hearing is over, you call Mr. Patterson's office and give his assistant your contact number. The second one is Wednesday, 8 a.m., you call Mr. Patterson and discuss your case. The third one is you be back here in the courthouse, not by Zoom, but physically present in the courthouse, May 15th at 8 a.m. Now I'm going to add a fourth one, and that is to make sure our clerk has your contact information as well. We should have your address, phone number, and uh, email. So make sure you've shown me you know how to use the, the chats. Be sure and send that to send that information to the clerk. Before Through the you, chat? Well, or, I want you to send it to her somehow before you leave. Okay. I can I'll I'll direct message you um and then you can just respond to me, okay? All right. All right. Sounds good. Okay. So once she has your address, you're free to go, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. Can I ask you a question? Yes, Judge. Why would you? Do, why would you do this? Okay, this is old. It's from uh, Code Blue Cam. Big shout out to them. They always have great material. Somebody sent it to me in IG. I it, it's old, but it's new to me. I, I wanted to I wanted to make sure I live up to my motto that it gets worse. And this is definitely worse. You guys missed the falling waiting for me to leave my gas pump. Look around, douche. Well the reason you really why I don't have anything over. better to do on New Year's Eve? New Year's night? New Year's Day? When there's all these motherfuckers. Get that out my eyes. It's not even I eyes. didn't do anything you know illegal. I'm pointing, I'm pointing I right do here. know I know you're was going to pull me over. Okay. I saw you sitting at you know why? parties. Parties. Yes. Because you know you're why? lazy and you don't want to pull over somebody with actually where you have to do paperwork. Who has a suspended driver's license? Oh, I got a suspended driver's license, but oh, you can pull somebody over drinking and driving, right? Okay, can I have your ID? No. I don't have it with me. My name is Nicole Glumsky. You know who the f*** 
I am. Okay. Because you just said I have a suspended license. Do what you gotta do with well, your dog. I have to verify dog. who you are. I'm don't not find anything. anything. I don't give a f and your buddy back there can bring his dog. You guys do this to me anytime. I've never you met suck. you before. Oh, so I don't know what thing. you're talking about. Why did you creep at Quick Trip so until I, I left? Answer that. Because I saw you at a suspended driver's license. How did you see that if you're on the other side of the parking lot and then drove around my vehicle, then drove around again? Is that her personality or is this drugs? I, I just don't. I mean, I know there's a lot of entitlement out there, but I just don't know how anyone gets through 24 hours acting like this. I'm not sure you. I'm not sure you live 24 hours in Chicago acting like this. I, I'm not being dramatic. Okay, you know what? I don't. Who's need to the hardest? You. you don't have to answer. I don't have to answer. What's your you? name, sir? He doesn't have to answer you, does he? Why? Get it out of his eyes. You're not wearing a seatbelt. Who? And neither I the f am I. I neither am I. I don't know that. Oh well. Quit talking to him. What's your name? F off. He does not need to tell you his name legally. You're not going to try to make somebody. He's did a passenger. We, did, we, did I do anything? You are wrong? being. This is entrapment. Do you know that? You're going to get in trouble. It's not entrapment. Yes, it is. If you think I'm going to get in trouble, it's my sergeant's right here. It, what is that called? Her? <laughs> she doesn't have a lot. Uh, she has a suspended license. I, I, I don't think this word means what you think it means. <laughs> she has a suspended license. He runs her tag and. <clears throat> Your license comes up suspended. I don't, I don't, you know, there's no entrapment involved here. Harassment. Have you been drinking tonight? No. Breathalyze this. Breathalyze Get this. Get it. Get it. I don't know. Your, your eyes are glossy. <laughs> glossy. Yeah, I smoke a lot of weed. That you been smoking be a tonight? Nope. When's the last time you smoked? None of your business. You smell weed? Nope. Are you going to find weed? Nope. Sorry, you, you wasted your time. I don't actually, I think I do smell weed. You do? <laughs> Search it, I, I told you. Get your dog. I don't need a dog. Do you got weed on you that you would put in my car? Why would I have weed you, on you? You seem like a dirty, lazy cop. Oh, that's so. When you dig through my car that. and you're that is, don't find nothing, don't be upset and then have to give me a ticket for suspended license and drive away like a piece of cop. Why don't you? He wasn't wearing a seatbelt and didn't want to uh, ID himself either. Dude, this guy waited at Quick Trip for me for no reason. I'm pumping gas and doing my makeup. Ready to actually go to a friend's house okay, and have you? a couple drinks. And how much have you had to drink already? Not breathalyze me. I'm not talking to you no more. Ooh, All right, I'll be right back. <laughs> so if you've got a violation of the passenger and he's yeah, to I think so. himself. I walked up, he wasn't wearing a seatbelt. He's claiming he took it off, but I don't believe him. Okay. Uh, neither one of them had him on. She's telling me she's the RO. She gave me her name, but she doesn't have a driver's license on her. Okay. So I can write her for that. Yeah, check and Plus, see if you can find the driver's license picture. Well, yeah, I stopped her for uh, yeah, I was she's suspended. Say, I, oh, okay. I don't even know it would do that. Let me ask you something, well, sir. Do you have a valid I'll driver's leave. license? No. No. But she doesn't so neither of you are leaving here then until you have a valid driver. You know also. What? I can walk away. Can I? You can't leave right now. If I'm not being detained, yes, I can. No, you are detained. How? You're getting a citation. That's you're not, not being going detained. anywhere. That's not being detained. Yeah, you're not leaving. Okay, well, when your this is done giving me a ticket tag, I'm going to be a suspended driver's license. Female, white. Super Karen. He's not driving out of here without a license, so. He says he don't have one either, but he won't identify himself. Well, perfect. They can sit here until they get someone out here. Operator. Uh, Fail to have passenger seatbelt. Yep. yep. She, she's getting a seatbelt and a yep. suspension. Okay. How far do you want to push his identification? It's up to you too. If, uh, for failure to and that is, there is a difference right there. <clears throat> cops, cops will let you go for not having a seatbelt on. They'll tell you to put it on, but they'll let that go all day long if they can get away with it. But if you're if you're gonna sit there and 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 gripe at them when they walk up to the car, oh no, you're you're eating that ticket for everyone in the car carry her driver's license on her purse. I kind of feel like that's a double-edged sword because okay. of this already being suspended. She doesn't really have a driver's license. Otherwise, I was going to write it. I was going to say with him is, I mean, if he says he had it on, he t took it unless you saw that he didn't well, have it Well, I pulled up on. behind him. They never took him off. Okay. Uh, they were, in my books, they were never wearing them. Mm -hmm. um, there's video 
from my squad, you never see them remove seat belts or anything like that. They were in my book, they were not wearing them. Okay, it's up to you. This is it's your stop. So if, if you feel that he truly wasn't wearing his seat belt and you have a violation, then he's required to identify himself for his citation. If he refuses to identify himself, well, I didn't write him a citation, I was going to write it to her. But instead of what I'm saying is he's obstructing an investigation if he has got a citable offense that you intend on citing him for, then then it, but it, it's up to you if you want to push it that far if he says he doesn't have a license we can sit on him until okay, we get so someone then, out here to pick him and the, them in the car up so then we're just going to have uh i, mean, I don't know it goes far as some of take him to jail to identify him and he can get it booked if, in for obstructing if, if you yep if you wanted to go that route at your discretion if you've got a citable offense he's refusing to identify himself he's by law is required to identify himself yeah, this would be a simple simple ten dollar ticket or a criminal well that and just a suspension i wouldn't have even cared to roll oh my god against sure. i almost saw the first half of this yep it appears it actually does get worse okay so are you willing to tell me who you are what your name is sir no he doesn't have to i'm telling him not to talk to you Do not. i'm not talking to you okay, right well, now i don't want him stop talking, talking. To you. no you need Wait, to... she's she's bossing the guy around who, according to her story, just waited around for him at the for her at the quickie mart, which is probably what happened. He's probably just a desperate simp. Stop talking. Me. Step out of the for vehicle. No reason. Step out. Come here. I'm gonna talk to you back here. No. Do I have to listen to him? Yes, you do. Walk to the front of that car, please. I just want to know, dude, speaking person to person, like, why are, yeah, I would why love are to you speak. guys not one, two, three, four, five cops here? Look at how why you're reacting. You, because I'm not because trying I'm to mistreat you. To I'm not, time. like, trying to make you feel no, bad. No, listen to me. Please or let me finish. Right. Sure. There's so many drunk crackheads, meth heads, alcoholics, people with so much stuff that if you pulled them over, you would actually... I don't know, it would feel like you were doing good because they were drinking and driving or they had drugs or they were doing something bad. Okay. But why pull Well, you physically told me you're smoking pot all, weed all the time. Oh, no, there's more. Because you're being a thing. My eyes are glassy. You smell weed. Actually, I do smell weed now. You know you don't. You don't smell weed. You don't smell alcohol. I haven't been drinking. Okay, for That's one thing. Lying to me. It would be lying if I was lying. I'm not lying to you. Don't raise your voice at me, dude. I have daddy issues <laughs> and I don't like men. I don't trust them. Listen. I have PTSD. Do not talk to me like that. Do not. I'm not lying. Everything I say that we're talking about is recorded. You know recorded. how scary this is when you see like this happen on the news? Where None of this get, would even have gone this far down. or be to where it is people right now. Held down by if, you guys you like, down. if you could at least have the slightest bit of and respect. I am a Brad. I do not. I want to walk away from you because I don't owe you shit. Listen, but you know what you walk would to the do? front of my car. You know what you would do? Just walk to the front of that car. You would physically hurt me. You would hold I'm me I'm not down. going to. You, but if I try I'm not to even going to touch you. You would. You'd shoot my Just have a seat right there. Relax. Don't tell me what to do. Okay. So here's the thing. You're not identifying yourself. I pulled up behind you. I have a camera that's also in my car that I've never observed. Either one of you removing a seatbelt. Therefore, you weren't wearing one. It's the violation. If you're not going to tell me who you are, give me your identification. That's obstructing. And then we're going to handle it differently. What are you, what are you trying to do? I just, just what, tell me who you are. What have I done wrong? Because I saw you driving around. Yeah, I saw you at Quick Trip. Yeah. I ran her plate. Yeah, I saw that she was suspended as a registered owner of the vehicle. I can legally do that. I can sit at a gas pump and run every license plate around me. I can legally do that. Aaron Source. Irving. Irving. I-R-V-I-N-G. Saragoza. I'll hit it right now so I can tell you how it is. 6-2 count. Could you look up a Irvin Saragoza in-house? Just got that bonus. Yeah, what's the harassment? <laughs> this went to, if she wouldn't have like started yelling at me and like all this would have, this would have never gotten to this point. It's just, it's just that we're all the time, it's just happening like we're, uh, not doing anything wrong, literally at the picture standing there. And like, so I drive around and I like that's my job is to observe traffic and I run license plates. No, I literally look for people with suspended driver's licenses. I look for people that are revoked. And so now you're out in forest why? No, this is my normal shift. There's quite a few guys up you guys. Right now, yeah, you got us a shift change, so there's a lot of us because there's guys coming off and on. Half hour ago there was like three of us. 
That's it. Trying to mess with us when you could be out doing something good. Okay. How much weed is in the car? There's no weed here. I can smell it. Okay. If you can questions. smell it, then you need to get your nose checked. No. No. Irving, we're talking to him. We already got your name. You need to stop asking you questions about my Jared, car. you want to walk up here? You must just get it done and over with. You want to get in here and check it? Go ahead. So I looked at past contacts too with the car, and like it even says that there's been marijuana in this car. So are you gonna tell me that I don't smell it when it's been in here? I don't care to search the whole vehicle. Honestly, I don't want to look in the damn vehicle. I don't care. Like, what are you trying to get? At? I'm, I'm just you. being honest. I'm talking to you, talking man to man. I've already told you. Like, there's nothing here. What do you want? Nothing. Uh, I don't like, want anything. If you're trying to get in here, get in here. Okay. Can you can you step out? Can you run it? Can you be quick? And like, yeah, no. You're not going anywhere. You guys might as well start calling for a ride. I, I, I don't, I don't know. Okay, I'm going to have you step forward you? and hang out with that officer. Yeah. You're going to want to look inside the car. Oh, yeah, go ahead. I have to give you permission, not him. No, you don't, I don't need permission. Because exactly. yeah. the more I talk exactly. to him, have my head in the car, I can definitely smell marijuana. How do you know what marijuana smells like? Get that marijuana back. You, do you have your phone with you? No. Irvin, do you want to try to call somebody? Because you guys aren't driving out of yeah, here. Guess what? My uncle lives two houses up. I'm pushing my car into his driveway. I'm going to hand you your phone so you can work on a ride. I don't need a ride. I'm going to push my car. Okay, well, I'm going to go knock on that door. I'm going to verify that's your uncle and he says it's okay. You can sure. put your car there. Go ahead. Why don't you check the address? Why do you have a hatchet in your door? I can have whatever the I want in my door. I can have a gun in my door. Okay, thanks. That's all I wanted to hear. Nope. I thought you didn't have an ID. That sounds like obstructing. Are you say I, I hear all kinds of things. I just don't want to talk to you because I don't want you to keep yelling at me. I don't work for the city. <laughs> Nicole was released and cited for failure to wear a seatbelt, operating while suspended, and failure to have a passenger wear a seatbelt. Picture. But he said he thought that I have a suspended license when I don't have a front plate. Keep it up. And I'm going to write you for obstructing for not Please giving me do. your ID. Please do. I don't need to hear it. Not from you. And not from nobody. Here's a citation for operating while suspended. There's a court date and time up here at the top. You do not have to appear. It would be a deposit of $200.50. Oh, God, your voice. There's also a citation for you not wearing a seatbelt. Same court Look, date. I told you he's going to write a ticket for everything because he's going to feel asked for that. He's going to find nothing. Also, I'm giving you a citation uh. for not having your passenger or your passenger failing to wear his seatbelt. Uh. Uh. Babe, spread them. Uh. Thank you. Have a nice night. Yeah, you better figure out a way to get your car somewhere because you're not driving it. I'm going to push it to where it needs to go. Good hey. boy. Nope, we'll be here. Fighting crap. I know you will because you don't want to do paperwork. Don't you don't want to do your help. real job and go fight, fight crime, right? You're a pig that don't know. No. He ain't scared. He wants to fight a girl. Okay, so make sure she doesn't drive out of here. He wants to fight a girl. She's going to just drive out of here the second we leave, so. And then what do you It's up to you if you want to. I've never had cops watch. Sit out here. Where's my deal called? It's if she wants this to push her a couple of blocks, we can follow her can and watch her too? push her vehicle for two blocks, I guess. Call that tow truck. When that tow truck comes, um, you gotta pay for that, right? We can't allow her to leave, though, the without a license. Your boss so. is gonna be pissed, and I'm gonna push my car. So I totally agree. Yeah, she's um, not leaving. If it is going a couple of blocks up to her uncle's house, make sure you verify that that person is your uncle and that it's allowed to stay there. <clears throat> wow. Wow. I saved the worst for last. It was a beautiful thing. All right. Big shout out again to Code Blue Camera. I just pushed your thing, although it's a couple months old. It's a couple months old. And uh, I know from my analytics, uh, all of you are subscribed over there anyway. <laughs> so it doesn't really matter. So I know you all saw it, but it doesn't really count until we watch it together here. Webster was on fire. My my favorite was that she she wanted a hundred bucks from that guy that day. He wouldn't do it. She puts him in jail for the weekend. She was she had had enough of that guy. I've had enough. You don't tell me when you're paying the hundred. I tell you when you're paying the hundred. Oh, good stuff. And of course, 
we kick it all off with fantastic New Zealand Odyssey. Thank you, everybody, for coming out. I will see you all soon.